Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is a Salford City versus Bradford City match vlog in the second round of the Papa John's Trophy if you do go on to enjoy today's video please make sure to drop a like on there for me if you could try and hit 80 likes on today's video that would be absolutely class subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on it's free to do so and it does massively help out get your thoughts on today's game as well down in the comment section down below it really does depend which Bradford City side shows up in today's game because granted we've been very good away from home I think we've won like seven out of our last away uh, our last eight away games sorry in the league but in the Papa John's Trophy obviously our last Papa John's Trophy game was a 4-0 defeat against Burton Albion the light goes out there I do apologise but it's going to be a very tough one in terms of a score prediction I'm going to go with I think either 2-1 Bradford City or 3-0 Salford we're away from home so I'm going to be confident I'm going to go for us to bounce back after a terrible terrible performance on Saturday Today. Make sure you drop a like on today's video, subscribe if you are new as well, and let's get into team news. Here we have it then, here's how we line up but for today's match, away to Salford City, three changes from Saturday. But then Oliver, Dion Pereira and Tyreek Wright all come into the side for Abo Issa, Scott Banks and Andy Cook. Interesting not to see Ryan East in this starting eleven. I've no idea what that managed to do to get into the starting eleven either over Smallwood or Alex Gillian. I know them two have been decent away from home but after Saturday you simply had to change the midfield. Great to see Jamie Walker as well back on the bench, hopefully we get to see him play about half an hour today. Let's get in to kick off. Team. Hopefully it's another win. Some goes alive. Fucking hell, man. Going folds there. They need to stop giving it away in these stupid areas. Yeah, he's a big fella. Someone fucking get, you fucking dirty bastard! Well, let it get in. Nice shot here. to be fair. Someone just shoot man. <laughs> Fucking hell! That's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. You can tell he's been playing for Forest Green. That's pathetic. <laughs> That small would work. <laughs> well, that's not great, is it? I think it would get the out got spawned from the throw in. It's a good strike, to be fair. Good goal. Lol. 
half time 1 0 Salford. It has been a poor first half. We've created nothing, it's been really poor. Change of the game, Chapman off, Walker on, Walker back for his first game since July. Great to see. Uh, Dion also off for Scott Banks. And final change is Small wood off, east on. Oh my god! Needs about 10 to go. Fourth change of the game. The day and Oliver off, Andy Cook on. Andy, Andy Cook! He gets the ball, he scores a goal. Andy, Andy Cook! Come on, Foldsy. Come on, City. It's a great ball. Where are we? Five minutes of any time for us to find an equaliser. Oh, come on. Any time today, fucking hell. Oh, come on, man, that's so poor. Full time, 1 0 Salford, we exit the Packer Dunn's trophy. Uh, poor performance today. And there we have it then, a very disappointing way to end our Papa John's Trophy journey. The first time we've ever got out of the group stage, but we cannot get past the second round. Defeat away at Salford, back to really familiarity, away from home against Salford. Just didn't really show up today. First half, we were really, really poor, constantly passing the ball from side to side, not creating any chances, no clinicalness in that final third as well second half when Walker came on I thought he added a bit more drive and we clearly have missed him over the last couple of months because we've looked a much better side when Walker was on granted he didn't look as sharp as what he has done but that will come with match minutes and all that sort of stuff it's disappointing to get knocked out of the cup but it does now mean that we're out of all cup competitions 
and we can now focus on the league, which is our most important thing at this moment in time. I think we're fifth in the table. Walker is coming back from injury as well, so hopefully we get to see him on probably the bench, I would say, in our next game against Leighton Orient. We've not got a game now for 10 days, so we can concentrate fully on that one. Fingers crossed, Roman Critch, though, is fit for that game, so I think we have missed him over the last couple. But thank you very much for watching today's video. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could try and 80 likes, as I said at the start of today's video, that would be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed. If you haven't already, with that post notification bell on, it's free to do so and it does massively help out. Get your thoughts on today's defeat as well down in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Have a great rest of your day and I shall see you all very soon for another one. Peace.